Coming in hot from Arizona, this is Trevor and Troy Howard, and you're on So Tell Us Time. You can have everything you want in your business. Sometimes you just need a little help. Every business owner would love to charge more for their services, but sometimes you can sacrifice long-term loyalty for a short-term profit. Creating the right rituals is key to your business having success. Are you tired of competing with your competitors? Guess what? You don't have to compete if you create. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of So Tell Us Time. We're excited to be with you today. It's an awesome day. We got Thanksgiving coming up. Yes. What a fun time, Thanksgiving. We get to get to we get to get to <laughs> <laughs> we get to get together <laughs> with family and friends. That could be a good thing. That's right. That could be a bad thing. That's also right. You, the holidays are just iffy. Yep. I tell you what, it's not always fun to get together with <laughs> family, but uh, I hope that's not the case. I hope you guys have great relationships with all of your family members and that this is going to be a great time for you. Well, with that season of life that we're in right now, Tis the season for Thanksgiving and holidays, right? We got Thanksgiving coming up and right around the corner, Christmas. I always say, and I've said it in the last few podcasts, but it's like Halloween hits. Yep. It's crazy. Halloween hits, then Thanksgiving hits, then my birthday, which is super awesome. Actually, and I do have to say, which I haven't said before, my anniversary hits before that. (laughs) November 19th, my anniversary hits, then December 14th, my birthday hits, and then the 25th. We've got yeah. Christmas. We've also got Hanukkah, yeah. Kwanzaa, uh, yeah, yeah, bunch of holidays coming bunch up in the next of thirty days. Uh, Merry everything to all of y'all. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, with that happening, with this season, we've got to talk about special offers. Yes, special offers. Because guess what, Black and you all might be going, ugh, special offers, <laughs> pain in my butt. Special offers. Well, let me tell you, Black Friday's coming up. Yep. You better be running a Black Friday special, my friends. Then Christmas. Mm-hmm. Everybody's looking for those special offers, those deals, those end of the year, last chance to get in on this. Because guess what? Every year, even in your even in your services, even in your businesses, things change. Yeah. Right? We're a software system. We're a software business. We build software. We add new products to that software. We add new features. We add, you know, all these great things that could potentially do a price increase, right? Yeah. They could have a price increase because of that. So it's like what you can do is, you know, even in in our industry, next year things might be more expensive than they are this year. So you could have that special offer, final deal, get in while the getting's good, right? Yeah. End of the year. Make those people take action that have been on the fence. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So Troy, go ahead and take it over. All right. So we're going to talk about how to create a special offer that people will take action on, right? So we, you know, we're going to talk about, basically, it's a call to action. Yep. And that's really important because, you know, there's discounts, there's deals, but then there's also calls to action that people actually are like, oh my gosh, I've got to do this. And that's what we're trying to create here is something that makes someone move and make a decision right away. Right away. Versus just a discount on your services. Correct. So when it comes to creating a special offer, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One, you can create desire. Yeah. Or the other way is to create fear. And we'll kind of talk about both. Uh, Desire, that one's pretty simple, right? Basically, you have to create a deal that is so good that they're like, I cannot live without this deal. Like, I have to get this deal or I'm going to (laughs) die. Which is funny because when you say desire, it makes me immediately go to commercials, which a lot of people don't know what commercials are anymore. Because we all just do, (laughs) you know, Hulu and all this stuff. So it's like my kids. It's funny. A a commercial comes on if we are watching something and they're like, dad, the TV's broken. Something, the show turned off. What's going on? I'm like, no, no, just chill out. It's called a commercial. But you remember the old... um, Cologne and perfume commercials. Oh, yeah. Oh, my 
gosh. Draco. Oh, Chelsea and I were just Chanel. Yep. Chelsea and I were just on our anniversary, little getaway, quick little getaway. And we had TV that we don't normally have. Right. And so we were watching the TV. And so all these commercials are coming on. And as soon as a perfume or cologne commercial came on, we knew. Yes. Because it was desire. It was sexy bodies and <laughs> oceans and waves splashing. Basically, it was like immediately as soon as a commercial came on that we were like, wow, this is a little bit naughty. We were like, oh, perfume. Perfume. <laughs> yep. Cologne. Cologne. So when you said desire, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like there was even one probably called desire. Right. And it was some sexy dude. But that's the point, right? You're going to elicit an emotion of yep. like, I've got to have this. <laughs> and, you know, so if you can do that. Yeah. With your product or service, that's awesome. Like yeah. cologne, pretty easy to do. Yeah, yeah. If you're a carpet cleaner and you guys have a bunch of, you know, dudes that are, <laughs> you know, maybe not six pack abs. I don't know. You know, actually, funny is now a great one. You this could probably true. make a commercial with a bunch of beer bellied, hairy dudes. Yeah. Cleaning carpets and be like, have some women say, oh my gosh, I'm creating your commercial right yeah, here. This will be see funny. It right now. Women sitting there like old school women with their fans and their set and their glasses that are like from the 60s, you know, and they're like, <laughs> woo, and their glass of lemonade, you know, as you're in there cleaning the carpet they're, shirtless. They're yeah, exactly. That's that's one way to do it right there. Do it. That's a great commercial. If anybody does that, I'm going to send you a hundred bucks. <laughs> like it, I'm going to give you a hundred bucks right off the bat. All right. So that's, so there's some ways desire works really, really well with some products. <laughs> yes. Other products, maybe not so much. The you wand. Know? Yeah. The Look wand. how he handles his wand. <laughs> it's just getting worse. It's just getting worse. All right. So the other side of it uh, is fear. Mm. And fear is actually, a lot of times fear is a better motivator totally. than desire is. Um, you know, people will run away from what they fear more than they will run towards what they desire. Correct. So fear is a great marketing or psychological tool to use when it comes to marketing. Absolutely. And one of the best ways to use fear is FOMO mm -hmm. or fear of missing out. Absolutely. And I'm going to share a story with you on this. So I have this Jeep that I, my son drives. It's and sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a classic. It is. And it's in perfect mint condition. Well, Mostly. So I had to fix, I had to replace a part on it. And um, I was like, okay, I'm like, it was a Saturday working on this, on the Jeep. And I'm like, okay, I got to get this part. I'm like, you know what? Before I drive to the parts store, mm -hmm. I'm going to just check online and make sure they have the part available. So I jump on their website and immediately, boom, it pops up and it's like, get $5 off an order of $50. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. 10% off. And I'm yeah. like, I'm going to the parts store anyway. So I'm, let's, all I had to do is put in my information, my personal information. And yeah. I knew as soon as I did that, I'm going to start getting emails all the time yeah, from yeah. the parts store. But I'm like, it's worth it for the $5 off. So I fill it out. I get it. I get my little coupon code and everything. And I'm like, all right, I can take this down and buy my part. I look my part up on the website. Guess how much it was? <laughs> $45. <laughs> oh, so close. And I'm like, dang it. Now I'm not going to get to use my coupon because my coupon was only good for seven days. Right. Right. Ooh. So I'm like, oh, this is making me so mad. So what did I do? Did I just go and buy the part and walk away? No, Absolutely I, not. I immediately started looking at the Jeep and I'm like, OK, something else has got to break soon. <laughs> yeah. What can I buy that I'm going to have to replace sometime soon? And I saw this like little like like toggle switch thing. And I was like, you know, what? that looks kind of shady. I bet that's going to break. <laughs> so I go and look online and I'm like, oh, $10 for that toggle switch. Yep. I'm like, okay, that puts me at $55. And then I get $5 off. I'm at $50. Yeah. And I was like, yes. So I did it. Because yeah, seven days, you you were going to miss out on five bucks, dude. Exactly. I was not going to miss out on the deal that totally. I just got. Absolutely. So I literally, I mean, think about it. I literally spent an extra $5. Correct. To get $5 off. Correct. Well, and you know who's doing it now? Like crazy, Amazon. And you might have, you guys may have experienced this. I don't know. But if you are purchasing something, so I'll pick something, I'll put it in my cart. Yes. And then I'll go to check out and it'll be like, if you spend another $25 or $10 or five, even $5 sometimes, or I have it, I had it $2.75. If you'll spend that extra money right now, you'll get same day delivery for free. And I'm like, oh, you know what's funny about it is the same day delivery is normally $2.99. Yeah. So, I, so the other day, it was 
$25, send an, spend an extra $25 from these items. And so then I clicked on it and I was like, oh, oh, I do need batteries. I am going to have to buy <laughs> batteries. And so, you know, I don't need that many batteries, but you know, if I just, I mean, eventually I'll need that yeah. many batteries. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend the $25 in batteries <laughs> when it was literally going to cost me $2.99 to get it same day, you know, but I did it. I yeah. spent the extra $25.99, $25.99 to get same day delivery. Exactly. So it works. And again, it totally works. Both of us are marketers. Hello? We do this for a living. Doing. We know exactly what they're doing, but we we did it anyways. Of course. Right. I was going to need the batteries eventually. Yeah. And I, so I ended up, <laughs> that's the funny thing. I ended up spending an extra $5 because I got, I spent $10, but I got $5 off. Yeah. So I spent five more dollars. Right. But then I had a whole nother part that I had to take out and put on. So it was additional labor on my part, totally. you know, to do it. But I did it. Why? Because I did not want to miss out Correct. on that deal. And the key there, just so you understand, was the seven days. Yes. Like the key with Amazon is if I don't do it now, it's not like I'm going to get that offer. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. I have to spend the money now because I'm checking out. Exactly. Right. So that leads us into our next thing, which is limited time slash urgency. Yes. You need to force people to take action. Absolutely. Why do you think we have Black Friday? Why is it that, you know, you're you have to everyone goes and spends all their money on one day of the year to buy all their Christmas presents, all their, you know, everything that they want. And it's insane. It's because yep. it's that's all that's the it's limited. Yeah. Right. So they're like, I got to do it. Mm -hmm. So when you limit things, you can create that urgency that will force them to take action right away. Right. And I'll give you another example of that. My son works at a restaurant called Cafe Rio. And mm -hmm. this one cracked me up. Talk about earning extra money, you know, towards the end of the year because you want to get all the money in. You can get in before the end of the year, right? Cafe Rio does this deal where it's like buy $25 in, in a gift card. And they give you $35 on the gift card instead of the 25. So you nice. get an extra 10 bucks. Nice. He had this lady who came in and she's like, I am so excited for Black Friday. You guys are doing that deal again, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're doing that deal. She's like, oh, good. She goes, because last year I came in about $2,000 worth of gift cards. And he looked at her and he's like, what? And he's like, do you just give them out to everybody? And she's like, oh, no, that's for me for the year. She goes, I buy my gift cards on Black Friday. And then I eat my Cafe Rio all year long <laughs> oh my using my gift card. But I want you to think about that. Like wow. Cafe Rio brings in an extra $2,000 on one customer. Yeah. Right? Before the end of the year because they have a special offer. And here's the thing is you might think, well, she'd eat here anyways. That's not necessarily true. No. Because if she didn't have the gift card, she may mix it up more. Yeah. Go other places. Correct. Salad and go. Right, exactly. But instead, she's like, I've got $2,000 worth of Cafe Rio. I am committed. That's awesome. So that's another thing to think about is what could you offer, right, in your mm -hmm. deal that is that will bring revenue in that you might capture next year, bring it into this year. Correct. So that's think about awesome. that. So urgency is really, really important. And then the final thing is you need to make sure it's a special offer, not a last ditch offer. Yeah. Yeah. And this is really important. And by, and by that, what I mean is, and I'll, I'll share an, ex, uh, an experience with a client we had. Um, she is a residential cleaner and she had on her website when people would go to leave the website, that pop up would pop up on the website. Desperation. And it would say, before you go, get $30 off your first cleaning. Yeah. And I asked Crap. her, I said, so I said, in the last 12 months, how many people have filled out that offer, that last ditch offer? And she's like, mm, zero. And I'm like, would you like to know why? And she's like, yeah, I'd love to know why. Like I put it on there thinking I was going to get okay, a bunch of people. And here's the thing is marketing is psychology, people. Yes. So Troy's giving you some, some insight right here. So here's the psychology of it. Basically, I told her, I said, here's what's happening. People are going through your website and they're making a decision. Am I going to use her or am I not going to use her? And most likely, if they're going to exit off of there, it's because they've made the decision. I'm not going to use this cleaner. Correct. So they're going to exit and then you pop up and you're like, oh, please, please don't go. Yeah. Please, I'll give you $30 off. But it's too late. They've already made their decision. Ridiculous. So they exit. So what we did with her is we put our special offer widget that we have in the Sotella system on her website. And what it does, again, I want you to think about the psychology of this. 
as they're going through the website, as they're scrolling through and they're and they're trying to make a decision, do I use her, do I not use her, this little offer slides up on the side and it says, hey, get $30 off your first cleaning. And so it's giving them an incentive. Hey, you know what? Let me push you over the edge and make your decision for you, right? right. By giving you $30 off. And they go, oh, you know what? Everything looks really good. I'm going to get $30 off. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and claim that special offer totally. and move forward. So the difference, 12 months, she had zero people fill it out. In the right. first 12 months of using the special offer that we gave her, now that widget, she got over 700 people claim her special so offer crazy. in the first so 12 crazy. months. Because again, they're in the point of making the decision has not been made yet. Yes. So the special offer being there and in their face the whole time, you know, to a degree. Yeah. Right? Makes them, helps make that uh, decision to go ahead and use them. Exactly. You know, they go, they see what they like, they decide they want to use them, they claim the special offer. It's yeah. perfect. And I want you to think about, again, the psychology of it. Like Trevor, with his situation with Amazon, if he had purchased his package, yeah. then Amazon sent him an email and said, "Hey, spend twenty five dollars right now, and we'll give you free one day yeah. or free same day shipping." Bounce out, bro. He wouldn't have done it. I'm not interested. I can't tell you how many times I buy something and it pisses me off. I'm saying that right there. It pisses <laughs> me off. That makes me mad. I'm mad. I get mad about this. Right? I get angry. I buy something from a company and then immediately get, uh, oh, get twenty five dollars off your next purchase. Listen, jack wagon. Like I would have been more loyal and like I would, I, and I'm a super loyal person. Trust me, Troy knows this. Oh, like yeah. when I start buying from a company, oh my I gosh. stay buying from a company. <laughs> I like all my jewelry comes from one company uh, and I've spent lots of money with them. It's not cheap. And uh, all my, all my shirts, <laughs> yeah. all my shirts. And now they even started making uh, like blank ones, which is, uh -huh. so I, I just bought eight more shirts from them. All my shirts, my pants that I'm wearing right now, literally this entire, I wish I could grab the camera and show you my whole <laughs> outfit. I've got shoes on. I can't get my feet that high ever since back surgery. So sorry. But I just went and replaced all my shoes because yeah. I am like a person that like, I buy a lot of what I like. And so they had these different shoes. I just, and these aren't cheap shoes. These are Italian leather handcrafted shoes. I just replaced all all of my shoes with this one brand of different colors of this one brand of shoes. So I am very loyal to the companies that I purchase from. And every single one of these companies, amazing. They yeah. have amazing deals. They have great specials. They love their customers and they have loyalty to your customers as well. So they've been wonderful. But that's my point is the companies that I get afterwards on your next purchase, I'm like, piss off. <laughs> I, it makes me so mad. I'm like, dude, you could have given me some, like I just bought from you and I just placed a big order with you. Yeah. Like when I bought my shoes, like shirts, I've bought 15 shirts from eight in, in one setting, right? My pants, four in one setting. Shoes, six pairs in one setting. I'm talking lots of money here. Yeah. You know, you could have given, you could have given me that like customer appreciation right away which exactly. made me so mad it made me so mad so that's why we actually built the so tell us widget to be the way that it is yeah and we explain that to people give them give them the loyalty from the get-go you're a new customer they're bringing you like you want them to love you from day one not after the fact oh now you now you became a customer of my customer of mine so now i'm gonna be you know give you something like take a hike bro <laughs> exactly. All right. So anything you want to add, Trevor, before we hit no, the homework? No, I just, yeah, that was my rant. Perfect. All right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody. Homework. Create a special offer and launch it this week. Well, I would say this week. Yeah. Because you, you got get it Black done this week, Friday. Get it done. Yeah, you got Black Friday going on. And then you can let it roll. Let it roll into the end of the year because you still, one thing we didn't was New Year's, right? That's still a yeah. celebration. So let it roll and get it out there. If you don't have something, get in contact with us. We'll help you out. Our widget is rocking. It kicks yeah. butt for people. So anyways, all right. Well, we love you. We appreciate you. Y'all are the best. Like, share, comment. Get this out to your friends and family. All of your friends and family should be listening to Sotellus Time. If they own businesses, they should be listening to Sotellus Time because that's what we're here for. We're helping you. We get emails. We get phone calls. We see people in person all the time. They love it. 
and we just want to make sure we're sharing it. So if you love us, what you can do for us as we giving to you and you can give back to us is share this. Get So Tell Us Time Out to everybody. All right. We will catch you guys on the next episode of So Tell Us Time. Time.